Hotel. To all our fans out there, welcome to the another edition of Teen Reveals. So this week we got, uh, or tonight we have uh, our hero, 12 hero teams being revealed tonight. Um, we also have uh, 18 legacy teams uh, to be revealed. And I have a wonderful panel tonight as well. So we have Kel, which is labeled improperly, Dr. Fish, and myself. Um, Always Just in Time is, is playing a TESPA um, match tonight, so he'll be in as soon as he can, but we'll just continue to go with the flow. So how are you guys doing tonight? Good. How are you? Bad? Not bad. bad. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Oh, okay, I was confused. <laughs> I was too, I was like, wait, what? Doing horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of COVID thing is going on. It got me locked up. So. Man. True, yeah, this uh, numbers are rising in my area, so it's getting a little <laughs> sketchy. So. Not yet. Are you guys, uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing too bad. So, are you guys excited to, uh, to start doing announcements? So. I, I am. I'm right. very ready for this. So. So Absolutely. tonight um, we're going to start with Heroes first. Um, Heroes is only going to have one conference because it has 12 teams. Um, Legacy is going to have uh, two conferences, which is going to incorporate the Wheel of Doom. And then our team panel here is going to just do their um, their opinion of uh, which top five in each, each series is uh, mm -hmm. going to be good based off of the characters that are on the um, teams. So, all right. So let us go to um, flip over to the wild, our hero series, sorry. And let me know if you guys can see the screen. So we're going to start off yeah. with uh, the, the um, with uh, Dr. Feach first, uh, making the announcement. Sure. And then myself, so. And mm -hmm. we'll are we just doing? Are we just doing it in order as the sheet has it that yes. we have? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. All right. So. So first up, we have Team Blast B L A S T. Uh, their one seed is obviously or aviously. Uh, their two seed is Lotus Knight. Robo Cats is playing the three seed. Two Star Mako is the four seed and. Mr. Saku is their five seed. Yeah. Don't they kick good, the team? No, just that's a good team. <laughs> this is a pretty good looking team. Um, I'm excited to see how RoboCats does playing in higher seeds. Because um, he was playing the five seed last season, our reigning legacy MVP. Yep. Um, so we'll see how he fares against a lot of these players who are uh, in the threes. Um, yeah. Kel? Good evening. Quick comments. Looks like a solid team. I uh, have played on teams with uh, Lotus Knight and Saku, so yeah, think you guys, think you guys are gonna do well. I'm trying to remember how many teams you and I have been on, Kel. Uh, it's <laughs> a couple. A few. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all true. right, so let's go to the next one, Kel. Are you are you gonna announce that? Absolutely. So the next team is uh, Dad Legend. Uh, captained by Yellow Dart. Uh, the one seed is Icicles. Sec uh, two seed is Starlax. Three seed Risen. Four seed Corridan. And the five seed, the captain himself, Yellow Dart. Typical team. Uh, I think most of them are there except for Corridan, right? Corridan's the new addition. Yes, I, Corridan yes, is new. So. Lotus Knight played on Dad Legend last season, I believe. Yeah. Also, in what world is Risen a three seed? I know. I know. Um, I don't know. He was a three seed last season, though, as well. It's crazy because Hero. So actually, Hero, Hero is the smaller of the series now, and it, it feels like um, some of these teams you see some of these players in the lower seeds, and you're like, "That's ridiculous." Yeah. But then you see the other players also in that seed, and you're like, "Okay, well, I guess it does even out." But yeah, all works out in the wash. So indeed. Mm-hmm. All right, so we can rip over to the the next one. So the uh, the conference that's going to be announced for it's only going to be the teal conference is really what it's going to be labeled for the season, just in case people are asking. So, all right, next one is no pros here. So we got Agent PWE with uh, 
jeez, uh, Carvalho, I'm going to call that. Uh, your Mum Kid Disco and Quaz, with Pasca being the captain. So standard standard group, except for Carv- Carvalho, I believe, is the, the one that wasn't on the team before last year. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Is, is this yeah. like the Cult Plus? Um... Well, your mum, I know your mum kid wasn't on MPH last season if they had a legacy team. He was on. What weren't your he was on ATL? And, uh, weren't your mum kid, Disco, and Quaz all on the cult at one point? I have no clue. I think so. I think, well, Quaz was captain, right? So. Right. Yep. Oh, okay. And I know Disco was on it at one point, but. Yeah. So we've got some former champs. I think Colt won a championship. Uh, I might be wrong. The cult won two championships? Mm-hmm. Yeah, two. Okay. So in their cool. time, Quaz, Quaz was captain, so. All right. So we go on to the next one. Ready? Yeah. All right. We've got Tam Pam Surf Slam. We've got our returning, some of our returning semifinalists team. Uh, Ducharmo in the one, JR Juggerlaw in the two, uh, Bit Beaker returning to LHS. In the three, Wash in the wind in the four, and Osmonaut in the five, captained by Lefty two one one one. Yep, strong. Captain. Yeah, so th- this is a strong captain and a pretty good team. I, I like. I I just like. I think this team had really good chemistry from last season, and and they've been able to upgrade one of their seeds to fill in the large PR gap that they had um, from last season. Yeah, Ducharme in the one seems right now. Everyone yeah. Right in the world. Yeah, he was in the one last season, I think, but I think he, he the, climbed massively in I PR. He was in the three, but anyway, he he climbed. Oh, that was legacy. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. The man's all over the place. He is. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, you got any uh, add-ons for this long-standing uh, t- team of THL? Tantams is always a playoff contender, and they are always a scary team. So yep. they'll be definitely a good team to keep an eye out for this season. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, being able to play Osmonot. That's our games are usually pretty classic. So nice. <laughs> Back and forth, five games right to the end. So the way you want it. So uh, who's up next? Uh, I guess that's me, right? Yeah. So you get so, the honor of doing. I get to I get to announce the best team in Hero. <laughs> Let's go. The one hundred percent All Star selection guy from last season. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you win by default. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we have uh, we picked up Neji Boston for the one seed, uh, and then the rest of the roster is returning from last season uh, with Mr. Python in the two, who went undefeated in the one seed last season. Very good. Uh, Doc Bomb in the three, which is just gross. Yeah. Uh, me in the four, and then Doubles in the five. Doubles in the five. Nice. All right. Oh, welcome in, Justin. Justin is just in time. Always just in time. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. Going What's going on? Uh, not much. Just lost the Tespa match to uh, stick Oh, off. no. Oh, GG's. GG's. Uh, well. Rope doped. So. We're uh we're just finished announcing uh Ask HS, so Kel is just telling us how great his team is. So. Ah, okay. So yeah, if you want to add anything to that, you can. Uh, uh, no, I I trust uh, Kel told you uh, all, all enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm I man, listen, I'm super excited for this team. We uh we did really well last season, and now we picked up Neji for the one seed, and it's yeah it's all uphill from here. Definitely. Yeah, should be should be fun. All right. Yeah. Let's get out. Let's see if I can yeah. boost myself up here. I was gonna say, okay, yeah, I, I did I did peek at this beforehand. This seems like the Agua 2.0 when you have a, a top of roster of Neji, Mr. Python, Doctor B O M D. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a pretty one, two, three. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, it's uh, it's a gross one, two, three. So all we gotta do mm-hmm. is, uh, if the four or five gets a win, it's just the icing on the cake. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, do you want to jump in the next one, uh, Justin? So we're on. Uh, give me, give me just a sec. I, okay. I can take the one. After. All right. So let's we'll do the next one, then, then you can do the other one after that. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Murloc, Lock, and Lodi. So we got 
Number one is uh, No Way H, or No Way. I'm just keeping No Way. A yeah, it's No Way H, yeah. Um, it's either Adair or Adair or whatever. we got Bone Smasher, no, Cherub, and then Wafer. Wafer. Uh, this yeah. is an interesting team. Yes. No Way H is a wild player who's very good. He's been, like, top 10 legend in wild. Um... Adair is a strong player. Bone Masher. I don't know why it's Bone Smasher. It's, it, the S is kind of weird there. I, th I think his name is Bone Masher. He's also a strong wild player who also dabbles in. Um, the thing with like wild players is because of the new like system where they have where they have like PRs based on their wild finishes, it means that a lot of these players who might have come in quite low, uh, don't come in quite low anymore. But Cherub and Y and then Cherub's a really good four seed, and Y Fair is going to be a super strong five seed. So I like Murloc and Lude as a team. Yeah, they look sure. solid. Um, is why is that why fair? Wait. Yeah, why? Yeah. I think uh, this is his first hero I season. I was gonna say he. I believe he's new to hero, but the rest of the team might. Uh, actually, their one seed might be new as well. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, might play, might have yeah. played like wild LHS. Maybe he played some of that in wild yeah. hornies, but yeah. yeah, yeah. The name looks familiar. I just don't know from where. Uh, well, hey, Legacy. He was on a Meme Dream Team last season. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So just to just to quickly answer Robocats, it's why is it Lodi? Is because they named it Lodi? I'm not sure why. <laughs> so. It's Murloc. Oh, I don't know why it says Lodi. If you look at oh, okay. if you look at their Murloc graphic, and Lodi. It's, yeah, it's Murloc. And Lodi. Oh, I got it. So anyway, okay, cool. Did they promise to play lock and load in every hunter deck they bring? Possibly. I hope, I hope they do. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I had some mic problems. My headset's not coming out too clear, so I busted out the the old Yeti. Oh, so. Nice. All right, so that brings us up to the next team. So who's who's up next? I kind of lost count. Is it? Are we going to go with Justin? Are you settled down, yeah. or do you want to do uh, fish? Yeah, <laughs> I can leave that up. So I believe it is the one, the only F2L Black. Uh, starting off up top with Itachi in the one, the Catharsis in the two. Hockey Boy's coming back after his stellar season last time in the three, actually kicking out Rebob down to the four. Wow. And then our very own Dr. Fish in the five. Fish, I mean, what, what do you think about this team? <laughs> this team? Because, I mean, we all know that F2L Black is perennial playoff contenders. They've been for the past two, at least as long as I've been in THL, um, for the last two seasons, that is. Um, I'm excited to play with this team. Um, I think... The interesting thing is that that the first four seeds are all very close in PR. I'm pretty sure, where like they're all in the 400s, and then um, I just kind of round out them with a with a as a 50 PR player to kind of keep them within cap. But this yeah, seems in awesome. interesting. I know I know Rebob had talked uh, last season a lot how, of how much uh, how the Rod Zombie was in all of his teams and was always there to clutch. Uh, and unfortunately, because of the, some of the PR increases of them having success, the Rod Zombie is not able to be in the teams anymore. Are you going to be the new Rod Zombie? <laughs> Come in, oh, in, in the four or five seed and just oh, win every five, series? I'm going to be in the five seed the whole time. But um, yeah, I hope so. I, I really want to contribute to this team and help them get um, make a nice deep playoff run. Um, yeah. I'm excited because Rod. I know Rodded and Hero had his had his PR changed because he hadn't played enough games. Yeah, it's super pretty pretty uh, good gathering of of guys, and I think uh, Fish. We were talking in the the green room, aka the Discord channel. Was they're all above 400 except for the mm -hmm. five seed. So ain't nothing to sneeze at. No. All right. So Fish, you ready for the next one? I am. This team is a little different from last season, but still equally as still like pretty strong. And that's vote of some confidence. Captained by Sage, um, Heat Shock in the one, Ridiculous Hat in the two, uh, Ufric in the three, Boolean in the four, and Jim Philos in the five. So Ufric and Boolean coming in this season. Ron Mexico no longer on the uh, Ron Mexico and Diamond were the players from last season, and they have. <laughs> 
um, either got, changed teams or just decided not to play. Um, but overall, I'm excited about Voto. Some confidence again. They were the top points team, I believe. Um, I'm not sure how their points stacked with Tonk, if you remember Justin. But they were very close in points. Yeah, more in the top. regular season, definitely. Yeah, reg well, yeah, regular season points is what I mean. But uh, yeah, good, yeah, great team. As Ron is noting in the chat, huge upgrades here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, change, gang Ufrican for uh, whoever Bum used to be there. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, Diamond might be a little tougher to replace Lee than then. Lian's a, a solid player. Uh, yeah. Ca you can't have Diamond win too many championships. Gotta, gotta <laughs> kick him off the team before this, this vote uh, that finishes the deal that they couldn't quite close last season. Yeah. yeah. Jim Jim had a good season for. Jim did, yeah. I think, was he six and one? I thought he was six and one or six and three or something. Anyway, he had a good mm, season. Yeah, don't know if it's was, that high. Yeah, like a lot of wins. Yeah, I don't remember. So he was killing it. So yeah, Cal, you ready for the next one, dude? I am ready. Uh, also, what I have to add about Voto some confidence is that team looks scary. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Would agree. How much confidence do you have in that assessment? <laughs> some. <laughs> hey, there we go. Yes. Yes. But um, bump. Uh, so the next one is thirteen thirty-seven squad. Uh, we have uh, Turtle in the one, uh, C Mac in the two, Mole Star in the three, Nine Eyebrows, who is also the captain in the four seed. We have Skirt Reynolds. Is that like Ryan Reynolds drifting? I don't know. It's I think it's some song reference or something. Gotcha. Uh uh, this I, is Tonk. This is Tonk, but with Molestar instead of Justin. I'm yeah, scared. I mean, defending champions, and they probably upgraded. I, I'm, I'm, scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I mean, like C Mac is finally not play took two seasons of him winning, but he's finally not in the three seed anymore. At least yeah. until Molestar probably passes him, because Molestar is freaking qualifying for Masters tours through ladders and is in the three. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Uh, Just let, yeah, let me work he, my way through here hold on yeah and go ahead and note and notably molestar struggled to start last season but he was killing it by the end of the season so yeah, yeah. once he once he stopped uh getting swept by tech lock <laughs> given his priest predilection he started yeah. winning a lot more gotcha. uh, that makes sense and yeah i mean uh, I, I'm not sure we were really the best team on paper last season, but it could kind of out most single elimination playoff variants worked out that that we won it all, and I think this team's just as strong. Uh, yeah. Like, again, on paper, I, I would back Molestar over myself. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure the same. All the dominoes will fall in a row again as they did to uh, us last season, but should should mm -hmm. definitely be a, a good team. And finally, finally, after nipping at my heels like a the snapping at turtle that he is Turtle's for many seed. weeks at last season, we finally have turtle one seed. You heard it right, chat. Yeah. Turtle, turtle op. All right. Next up is who's announcing next? I can't remember. Jeez, uh, I'm I old. I'm getting too old, dude. I, I just went, so I think it's either you or Fish. It's it's you, uh, Saku. Okay. All right. So we got Inferno THL. So we got Snake in the one. Um, I heard just most recently that the two is replaced. So Dunk a Doodle Do is while I love the name is not not uh, yeah. in the THL. So. Yeah, t the two seed will be Seabit. Seabit, okay. And then we have uh, Vino Spumoni, and then Nomad Farmer, and then Clarity. So, all except for Snake and Clarity, new players. So, uh, did Nomad, Nomad Farmer play last season? I'm trying to remember. No. No? Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so I was actually mentioning Clarity about this team. He's very hyped up. This is his first time captaining, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong with that, but yeah. Nope. Nomad Farmer is a, a mod in No Hands chat, and uh, apparently is, is going to be hoping to, to get some wins through Osmosis for uh, No Hands' crazy good uh, deck innovations. And then you're saying as well, the 8-bit is is top 500 legend, which, I mean, that's no Molestar in the 3, but that's that's pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, new team, I'm not sure how it's going to gel, but on, on paper they look like they have a shot. Yep, yeah, I like their uh, mm -hmm. their team logo yeah. too, it's pretty, pretty nice, so whoever did that, mad props, so... Mm -hmm. All right, Justin, you ready for the next one? Second last one. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I say that, and uh, my Discord is crashing. 
Uh, oh no. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so next team, oh, uh, I think I'm forgetting their name last season, but I remember it was, was uh, a pun based as well. Now they are called Wherever I May Roam yep. with our, our Ron Mexico, gone from vote of some confidence, but not forgotten. Ron Mexico on the one, uh, Captain Donde in the two, the Big Ted making his return to Hero in the three, as well as Anfall in the four. Wow, that's an obscene. And Roadrunner in the five. Holy yeah. crap. Well, four five is insane. This is a team built from the bottom up. Yeah, and their and their top and their top seed is a very 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 good player. Finally, in the seed that he should be in, and not in the two or three. Yeah, I think it'll be an ongoing conversation between the Big Ted Donde and, and Ron Mexico of who's the true loser on the team. Um, so <laughs> I think they'll work that out. Anfall is super good at the four. Oh he's, gosh, he's yeah. always he had a rough season last season, but. Um, He's he's pretty solid player and Roadrunner. I've I've seen them play on stream before and I'm I'm shocked they're at the yeah. five. So yeah, I mean, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Roadrunner is one of those uh, Washu players. Uh, yes. Who I've, yes, I've seen his team doing. I think he's teammates with Ufric. I've seen his team doing decently in yes. Tespa, uh, and he, he's taken a few seasons off THL and. I, I think it may be the case where his PR has, has lagged behind his personal improvement. Mm -hmm. So I, I would certainly expect for him to be reaping souls in, in the five. <laughs> yep, my soul shall be reaped, potentially. There you go. We will Kel? see. Kel, what do you think of this team? Looks good, man. Big Ted coming back is huge. Yeah. Uh, every time Ted's been a hero, well, that I can remember anyway, uh, he's had a killer season. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think this team's going to do really well. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. That also, brings... Roadrunner Go ahead. in the five, I think. Uh, I think Roadrunner in the five is a lot better than uh, than it looks on paper. Yes. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So that about does it for... Oh, sorry. We got one more. Sorry, based. <laughs> 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 okay, nothing more to see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll move on to the next one. So, Feast, you get the honor of doing the, the last one there. All right, awesome. We've got team the, the dabs on them. Same <laughs> same base of players uh, with one change. Uh, based Inc., the captain in the one. Um, they have Seth C or Four Christ in the two. Uh, Duwin in the three. Astral Pog in the four. Or Astral Frog in the four. And Buse. A cheat code in the five. Yeah, for this real, team made the finals and got beat by Tonk. This team is very strong and could probably get back to the finals, or yeah, uh, will at least make playoffs. I, I would. I'm gonna guess. They're only change good. from a, a finalist last season, subbing yeah. out a Runeterra player for uh, Seth. That that seems yeah. like quite good. <laughs> a Runeterra player. <laughs> well, you know, well, yeah. I mean, Booz does play a lot of Runeterra, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boozasaur is no longer on the team. We will miss him for the season he is away. Uh, maybe Seth is good enough to be uh, fake Booz. Good, good enough to, to win yeah. a few games as well and even that two seed. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So so mm -hmm. who's the actual pitcher? Is that, is that Dabs or is that Buz or I don't know. Oh, gosh. I don't know who that is. Chat. Chat uh, can help you. us out there. That is Dabs, I believe. I, yes, think, I thought it was Dabs. Yeah, that's yeah. Dabs. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's dabs. Bobby okay. Dabs. It is. <laughs> yeah, that is Dabs. <laughs> I love, I love the guy. For, for, I mean, I, I believe he goes by Robert. Uh, Bobby was his father's name. There you oh, go. Okay. There we go. The story is told. <laughs> All right. So shall we jump over to our crazy conference there, the Legacy? So awesome. We'll jump right over there right now. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll start start a new clockwise. So we'll go Fish, uh, Justin, uh, Kel, and then myself. So okay, good. Alrighty, so we'll start cool. at the top. First, All right. first one, Fish. Well, what would Legacy be without Hearthstone Academy? Mm -hmm. Sage is back with the diff with the with a very different team. Uh, we have based Ink remaining in the one. They have Kalis Luna in the two. Man, that's scary. Um, Steffi in the three. Two-star Mako returning in the four. And then Saku. Saku's on HSA now in the five. Yeah. Let's go. This team, the consummate uh, 
um, they usually make playoffs. They barely missed playoffs last season to my former team. Uh, so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe HSA has won more championships than any other team. Yeah, they won, what, four? This Some is legacy that, titles, yeah. four or five. They're, they're killing it in the legacy s- series yep, for Saku. sure. Yeah. Saku just decided that he was winning a championship. Captain by <laughs> Mr. Mi- Captain by Mr. Bodie McBoatface himself. Yeah. Sage. Yeah, I mean, legacy last season won by foolish madmen. No small thanks to the number of weeks down the critical stretch when we were able to have <laughs> America's GM contender Dardar Binks in the two seed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so having America's GM contender Kalis Luna in the two seed seems yeah. just about as busted. Yeah, uh, Luna is a very uh, good player. So... Uh, Saku, you may have hitched yourself to a, a good wagon this yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> this, uh, this this team is average. Um, <laughs> just above average or subpar, and which whichever we want to call it. We'll, we'll, we'll downgrade f- ourselves. And let's not forget, <laughs> this is the conquest return of Steffi. Yes, so Steffi's... So I'm uh, very excited to see her play. Stepped away and prefers... Well, yeah. has, has played BGs for quite a while now, so mm-hmm. she's pretty happy jumping on board. And yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I... I I guess that'd be my one question mark about the team. Of, of it seems like the inverse of some of these people, like Roadrunner, coming back to, to after taking a break, but playing the game a lot. Of if this is coming back after taking a break after not playing the game a lot. So if there's a, a tough meta for her to learn, maybe a rough adjustment. Good thing for her, however, is that all you have to do is slam lunacy on two, yeah, or draw it's... sort of the fallen. So uh, we're not we're not we're, we're not going to be time. <laughs> well we're played, not... Steffi. <laughs> We're not going to be sh- we're not going to be so sure about that when nerfs hit. <laughs> oh, true, yeah. true. <laughs> we'll we'll see what's going to happen there. So, but yeah, S- Stephanie's uh, traditionally, a, I believe, a two most times. But uh, anyway, we'll move mm-hmm. on to the uh, the next one. So, whoever can pronounce this, um, no, Justin. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, do we know what language this is? Yeah. Or what oh, script it is? Is it just uh, wingdings or something. It looks like no. Thai potentially. It's, it's uh, I think it's. Well, I'm gonna guess it's some kind of Eastern. Yeah. <laughs> Eastern language is. for sure. Uh, I mean, Bank it, Yugi is Thai, so yeah. that would be. Yeah. So ba- guess. Bank Yugi fan club is what happens when you throw it in Google translation to English. So whether yeah. that's accurate or not, uh, Pasca it, it can can, can <laughs> confirm <laughs> or deny. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, go ahead, Justin. You can ramble off the the players on the team there. Yeah, I would love nothing more than to. So we have Agent PWE in the one, uh, and No Glocko in the two. Both of which I believe went to Masters Tour Iron Forge recently. Hey, so that's did. a pretty strong start. Uh, and then we have. Uh, Pasca himself as captain in the three, and the man I just lost in Tespa to, Snake Fods in the four, and then Jolt C in the five, who I'm not familiar with. But uh, Jolt was on Ticket as Punchers last season. Yeah, ah, did very okay. well. Yeah, pretty strong. Yeah, pretty strong player. So, mm-hmm. Kel. Yeah. I mean, this is basically NPH, right? Yes. Yeah, this is NPH. Yep. Um, this is Golden Common, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or or um, Drop Table Teams, or Redacted. Right. Uh, so I do think it's a little nuts that Pasca is a three seed, but I don't know. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have not really followed... Uh, legacy for the past couple of seasons, so maybe oh, that's good. where he just belongs in legacy. I'm not 100 percent sure. But, gotcha. Yeah, he seems to do. He seems to be like kind of about a th- maybe a three season legacy. I don't know because Glocko and Agent are so strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I mean, so this team looks good. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know that they look quite as good as HSA though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see. I think HSA is definitely the team to beat so far, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, also, just for our viewers, there there is there is going to be a Wheel of Doom for those that joined late. So there is going to be two conferences for Legacy: Red Conference and Gold yes. Conference. So. Yes. All right. Just just red and gold. Yep. Uh. All right. So next team, Kel. Yes. Uh. So I am proud to present you the Flame Pimps. <laughs> 
just makes me giggle. Fa- favorite that. favorite uh, name so far still. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, so we have Taco Cat in the one seed. Uh, we have Goose in the two seed, who is also the captain. Uh, we have Sp- Splicer, who is Icer. In the three seed. Uh, yep, that's what it was yeah, on okay. the uh, spreadsheet. Is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute, what? Uh, and then we have Boolean in the four seed and uh, uh, <laughs> Diddle, Diddle FT one, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, that's uh, it's that's a name. A name. Yep. It's a name. <laughs> yeah, um, strong yeah. player. Some uh, some odd names going on here, but uh, overall, yeah. I like the team. This, I think it looks this, good. This team has changed a little. This team used to have Reggie on or a. Uh, Reggie Valera, Zyrella, FBM two, man of many na- man of many names. Um, he was the one seed last season, and um, so everyone at the one and two move move back a seed. So I'm I'm excited to see how this team does. Um, without having FBM two up in the one. Yeah, definitely going to be tougher to win games when you have someone like that uh, losing. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, they won a lot of games last season, they so... Yeah. They were the one... They were the, I believe they were the one seed out of... The red conference, yeah. The red. Or and, out of the silver. And oh, Goose. Silver. Yeah, you're correct, silver. It was Goose. Them, yeah, because... I ahead. might be wrong. No, it was either them or Meme Dream Team that yeah. took the top spot there. Yeah. And I see Jester commenting in chat, Taco Cat good. I would agree. Taco yeah, Cat Taco good. Cat is good. Yeah. <laughs> Goose in the two is pretty good. I mean, he, he had a yeah. great uh, pro series last last season. So, mm-hmm. so, um, okay. So that brings it to myself. So, my favorite uh, STD. So standard THL degenerates. We got Mister Python at the one automated button at two. Um, Electric Sheep City, or. E Sheep City, I guess. Uh, the three Corden and then Quas, and then the big captain of the day is Doctor Bomb MD or BMMD. So, yeah, I think this is they. They were all together before, weren't they? Yeah, they just BOMD just stepped away from playing for automated button to join the team. I don't know if if Sheep City was the three, but um, I most of was last team. season. Yeah, this team like I BOMD is a really good player. I think they picked um, the Python as well. I don't think. Oh, I guess someone chat correct me if I was wrong. Uh, I think they picked up Python. I might be wrong, but to pick up that one and two seed if they weren't on the team last season is nuts. Because mm-hmm. like automated button was absolutely a cheat code in the three last season, like for Mad for foolish Mad Men. So excited to see him play against uh, two seeds and see how he does. I'm sure he'll do just fine though. Yeah, Ben Automated Button is <laughs> someone who is it's just insane watching him think about the game and hearing him play because he just yeah he has been busy for the past maybe <laughs> in the tough major in school doesn't play the game quite as often as other people but he's just in maybe the best intuitive instinctive player I've ever seen. He'll just pick up a deck in a matchup you've never seen before and he just finds all these crazy lines uh, like he's played it a, a dozen times. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's so cool. he. <laughs> was was making minced meat of some of the other three seats last season. I fully back him in the two. I feel like he could even compete at the one. Uh, he's just mm-hmm. very gifted. Uh, yeah. All right. Do we go on to the... Kelly, did you have anything to add to that? Or? Uh, nope. I think everybody said that everything uh, that I had to say there. Okay. All right, Fish. You're up for the next one. All right. We've got F2L White. Um... Kind of, it's most of F2L red, except they have one player um, swap. They have Myanodon in the one, Captain Rebobson in the two, uh, Sunday in the three, rotted, the Rotted Zombie in the four, and and uh, Slad in the five. So, so it's just the team that made the finals take out Mardi B, swap in Sunday, one, yes. <laughs> one, one wild high-level player for another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy claps, job's done. <laughs> run it back, boys. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be another. I mean, they'll make another strong run. Um, yeah, I mean, like you said, one uh, top one top wild player to another top wild player. So it um, be interesting to see how F2L does this season. 
Yeah, Rebob in the four and Hero in the two in Legacy. Yeah. <laughs> he will end in the three. Where, where will, will he go? <laughs> but, yeah, but Rebob's going to play like every single seed in Hero, so <laughs> probably yeah, that's true. time our season's done. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's always weird for, for me because I always recognize my Anadon being on Dad Legend from for both uh, both the series yeah. Hero and, and Legacy, so it's, it's still quite new to me to, to see my Anadon on another team, but... He's a he's a scrub one seed, so I'm happy for him. So, mm-hmm. all right, Justin, you ready for the next one? Yes, coming right at you. It is the team <laughs> with the mask that you can buy on the THL shop uh, in Project M. It is Dirty Mike and the boys. They also have a sticker and some shorts and socks. Lots of good stuff there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With number one seed Kazargar, uh, Kazargar. That's Kazargar, right? Kaz Kazgar. 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 Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> Uh, well, I, I give him all that hype and then I butcher his name. Well, t- oh, that's all good. <laughs> Swings and roundabouts. <laughs> Anyways, tell me Montana in the two, Astral Frog in the three, Megu in the four, and the captain himself, Lefty 2 1 1 1 in the five. Uh, I believe this team made playoffs last season? Am I correct in that? Uh, yeah, yes. they, yeah, they, they made playoffs last season. Well. They made it to the they, quarters. Yeah, they lost to um, Flame Pimps, I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. Uh, Megu is new, Serlos is not on the team anymore. Uh, took a step back, it looks like. So, uh, I mean, I still like Dirty Mike and the boys. They are a a very long-standing team. Yep, so. and Lefty, Lefty in the five is always funny to see down there. He's normally a <laughs> yeah. three or four guy. So, mm-hmm. Cal, you got stuff? You got stuff to add, bro? Uh, no, this team looks good. Astropog in the three, Lefty in the five. Like, those are almost guaranteed wins every week, right? Mm, so. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and as someone in chat is noting, Megu is new, uh, but I think yes. other than that, it's four out of five the same team. Yep, it is. Yeah. So all eh. right, all right. Got, got uh, quarterfinals last season. See if the <laughs> things can go a little bit more their way this season. Mm-hmm. Kel, you're up next, dude, for the next team. Alrighty. So next up, we have Do You Even Tonk? I believe this is the uh, defending champions, correct? Mm, uh, no, one, one player. That way and then no one else came back. Uh, so that was <laughs> just my my new team. <laughs> right. uh, so we have our esteemed captain, always just in time here in uh, the one seed. Uh, Turtle in the two. Uh, Geranium Battle in the three. That's an awesome name. I love it. Yeah. Also uh, known as Naturia Beast. Yeah, Naturia Beast. I don't know that name. Yep. It's, uh, that's his. That's his battle tag. They're gotcha. they're both old school uh, MTG cards, I believe. That would make sense. Just to confuse uh, us, next, old guys. This, this next one, I'm not sure how to pronounce. Is it canoe? Like, canoe. like the boat. Okay. All right, that makes yes. sense. Okay. Not cashew, like every esports announcer ever. No. Uh, <laughs> that is the direction I was going. So I'm glad you uh, you corrected me before I could get that mistake mm-hmm. out. <laughs> I would have said canoe, but. Right, uh, yeah, I think that's an acceptable wrong. pronunciation as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we have Rufsky in the five. Uh, so, so let me get this straight: you won a championship, and then everybody was just like, "Nah, dog, I'm, I'm not feeling." It. <laughs> I mean, we well, had twenty five hundred true PR. It's not like we were able to come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we had to completely blow up the team. We tried to make two teams, but the the captains. They applied were 19, a very odd number. So one of them had to be cut, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, so a- ended up just being one. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, very different team. Some some people that wanted to to new to THO wanted to play. At first, I was thinking, I mean, we're not going to be nowhere near as good as last season. That, that was already off the bat. I thought we'd be a little more casual. I mean, we're we're hanging a decent amount of PR on the cap. Uh, and Geranium Battle, or three seed, had only been legend once before, uh, and gotcha. not for many many months. Uh, so I'm figuring our, our three seed's not that great, but then then Max suddenly decided he wants to be really good at the game, and I, I think it's hit like top 500 legend in the the, the past oh, week or so. <laughs> so uh, so he's so he's next Darren. And Canoe is has gotten top eight test buds and two different teams with, with two different sets of people. He just hasn't played Hearthstone the past year, so he's I think he's a bit under PR. I'm not sure if he wants to play Hearthstone that much. So so we'll see if he's there mentally. Uh, mm-hmm. And then Ra- Rufsky is one of my good friends from high school. Uh, has not played Hearthstone in many years, but uh, I think 
maybe four plus years, but we really wanted to try THL, get get anointed with the community here. Right. Uh, and he is just a very smart guy. Uh, he picked up NTGA last spring for a month, and it was a, a competitive cycle of, of qualifying for some for a tournament that month. And he finished top one thousand in his first oh month goodness. playing it. Wow. So very okay. very nice. Uh, I, I have no, I have no doubt that even though we're looking through his his Hearthstone account and like the newest card he has is from <laughs> Whispers of the Old Gods, pretty much, I have no doubt that he can he can pick things up again and be oh yeah uh, very undervalued at negative one ten PR or whatever he is. <laughs> oh man! Uh, so then we're sending the team out with Turtle just for the good vibes. We'll, we'll yeah, see if he can man. carry another team to a championship. Turtle two C, let's go. Yep. So. Um, I don't think this team will be the most competitive, but sure will be a, a lot of fun, a good yeah. group of friends here. So, yeah. Well, that, and that's One the important thing. For. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Okay, so that means I get to bring in the meme dream team: Easy Bake, Clone Captain, Interval, uh, F Sirachi, Number One, and my curse. So I'm yeah. familiar with uh, F Sirachi. Clone definitely easy bake easy to remember. Um, yeah. Interval, I'm not sure if they played last season, but they were on the team last season. Yeah. Okay. They've so, replaced their four and their five. Their four and their five. Okay. F Sirachi yeah, is um, a, a solid four player, easy. So. Yeah. Yeah. Wifair was their four, and I forget their fives. Uh, I think their five was well played. Who isn't um, playing this season? Right. Yeah. Kel. Yeah, no, it looks like a solid team. Uh, ooh, what happened? Wait, hang on. Technical difficulties. There we go. <laughs> uh, I don't recognize a lot of these names. Like, I don't know who Easy Bake is. I don't know who Interval is. Uh, but I know who F Sirachi is. I know who My Curse is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mean, they're solid players. So yeah, it looks like a. a I, I so far, based on the other teams, I think I would put them somewhere in the middle of the pack. Mm. Yeah, they were the second. They were the top. They were one of the top teams from Silver Conference last season. Easy Bake and Clone are kind of a duo. They played on every team together. Um, and they're both very strong players. Yeah, so. bo- both people that put a lot of time in the game of, of Master mm-hmm. Tour qualifiers grind. Uh, yeah, and people are going to be experienced with the uh, experienced with a variety of decks. Not not no free wins from this team. Yeah. Uh, and I know Interval is no. quite quite a solid ladder player in yeah, himself yeah, as well. Good. Yep. Yeah. All right, so circles back down to Fish. So awesome. you get you get the next one. Oh man, I get I get two of the legendary legacy franchises to talk about. I get Dad Legend. All right, let's go. We got Dad Legend Captain by the Yellow Frog himself, Yellow Dart. Uh, Honest Zabe in the one. Your Mumkhead in the two. Your Mumkhead coming off an undefeated regular season. Ducharmo coming off an almost undefeated regular season. And they've added Blue Spartan in the four and Haster in the five. Um, I really like I really like um, their bottom. I like um, Blue Spartan, who played in the one seed in Hero and actually did pretty decently in the Orange Conference for how good the one seeds were. Mm-hmm. Um, and Haster, who had a rough season last time, but... Uh, I'm confident that he'll be able to turn it around. Yeah, I had to season. look this up. I, I thought it was just misprinted the order of the seeds, but no, Blue Spartan nope. is actually 250 PR yeah. in yep. Legacy because I guess yeah. he just hasn't played it in a long time. He has not played in Legacy. Yeah, he, 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 okay, he, well then. <laughs> he was, I mean, he was always the captain of uh, ATL, um, yes. and he so, but he never really played. And as well, ATL is your four seed. <laughs> yeah, so he's there for... He's a four. He's like a four hundred ish PR hero player. He so. was five fifty to start the season last oh, uh, year. Yeah. In, in year, I don't think he quite mm-hmm. ended five fifty because the the competitiveness no. of that conference. I could yeah. be wrong though, yeah. but he certainly held his own against yeah. me, Darian, Neji, and uh, Dom, Dom Day. Day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Good. I like this team. Yeah, I mean, I mean, only only thing that gives me bad vibes is Yellow Dart running from the challenge, not not playing this season. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm worried well, that he has well, he has, well he has the actual he has yeah, actual bad some sort of team do, chemistry so. may go downhill from there. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's always been a great captain, so if he's not oh, playing, yeah. then he's he's definitely barking at somebody. So 
Sure. <laughs> so. And yes, Yellow Dart, you can clip this to put this on your, uh, <laughs> yeah, in, bullet, in your motivation channel. Board <laughs> JR, JR Juggerlaw is, is basically going to you know, lose his mind so because he can't play against you. So. Oh, that's true. That's right. JR can't play against him this season. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ready for the next one, Justin? Uh, yes, indeed. So next up, we have Chaos Theory, a team that uh, I thought was surprised into better last season. I thought they had a lot of good players on it and somehow looked to be getting even better this season uh, yeah. with Iran Mexico in the one, Notorious GHB in the two, Isocles in the three <laughs> as a captain, Ritson yeah. in the four. <laughs> just, just, just a solid pro player in the four, by the way, and uh, Koto Mora in the five. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this team is all the same besides a mage, besides a mage um, being uh, no longer on the team and Ron stepping in as their new one seed. Yeah, so. yeah, you have a pretty solid team last season that maybe gets some bad breaks, and then you have yeah. more people and can upgrade further, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like Ron, this team's chances to do much better. Yep, yeah, and the upgraded uh, graphic, as Ron has pointed out, and it's, it's very, very yes. colorful. I love their new logo. It's very good. Yes, yeah, yes. Risen, Risen in the four is insane, yeah. Yes, yes, as we all know, butterflies, very chaotic, the butterfly effect. Who knows what could happen to cause this team to go in many different mm -hmm. directions? Yes. Agreed. Uh, all right. Kel, you ready for the next one, dude? I am ready, yes. Some uh, old school names. You should, you should be okay with this one, dude. <laughs> oh yes, I uh, I have been on teams with one, two, three, four of these people. Uh, so hot zilfs. Uh, we have Coles in the one seed, Jammies in the two seed, uh, Donde in the three seed, uh, Anfal in the four seed, and Jim Philos in the five seed. Jimbo. Yeah, this team looks pretty stacked. Uh, I gotta say. Yep. Missing missing Rubobs and I think that's where he filled in at one point, but that was two seasons ago. Are there any differences from this from last season? Uh, they, they were they were a team that started strong last season and then kind of uh, ended up just mentioning playoffs. Had, had a poor finish this season. Uh, oh, competitive conference there. Can we all was can... Anfall on them last season? Uh, yeah, Anfall. Yeah, this is the same team. Yeah. No, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And. Just that base pointed out again, as people may or may not know, Coles has never hit legend, and he is a 550 PR yeah. player. Yeah, he's yeah, he's 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 beaten, been around for a long time. Beaten Don Day many many a moons, uh, left right center, and look where Don Day is compared to where Cole is. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah may take one more season or two of her down day to, to break out of the three seed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, might, yeah. Might be ping-ponging back and forth between uh, all, all uh, the top three there, given yeah. how strong they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jamie's being in the uh, in the series and in THL for, well, he, yeah. for a very long time. So yeah. Shout out mm -hmm. to Jamie's a Northeastern alum, who I heard is recently going to be a Northeastern's new assistant Hearthstone coach. Nice. Uh, Great, because we could cool. use all the help with four teams. <laughs> there are yeah. not enough hands to go around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that makes me like the te like this team as if their name and logo wasn't great enough. That makes yeah. me like the team even more. Yeah. And if you want, if you want some uh, some great conversations, talk to Jamie. Yeah. So. True. All right. So that yeah. brings it to what me. Orc that smorks. Orcs that smorks. So Neji Boston in the one, Lotus Knight, Buse in the three, Mojo Powell in the four, and Clarity in the five with the Fishmaster is the captain. So come on, Fish. This is the best name you could think up. Yes. <laughs> this, is the this is the best. I'm bring screaming that this is grammatically wrong. I can't even enjoy the rhyme. This is awful. <laughs> no, it's similar it's yeah, whatever. <laughs> Come on, give me a hard time on my team name. When look at my when look at my team. What are the job has? I I know I came up with the name. I I I went off the same thing. Spies that flies, swallows that follows. I took it and I ran with it because this is the barons. This is the land of orcs. So, who did very the graphic for you? I, I'm very excited for my team. Yeah, Clarity did an amazing job 
with our um with our logo there you go and uh yep very happy with the players that i i have um excited to see how we all how we all how our team does yeah get some some scrub in the one you know <laughs> some <laughs> some some crossover some player, crossover two time two yeah. times in the last seasons never heard of them uh, yeah never we got, any uh, potential for a dr fish super sub at some point Ooh, my PR is a bit high. I'd actually have to sub in the four if I played. Oh, mm-hmm. look at him. Well, give because... how many matches you're winning in the, the five, and then some in the four as well last season. I mean... I, yeah. Yeah, I only my only loss came in the four to two, and a very, very strong player in doing so. <laughs> yeah, no shame so, in that. This yep. team actually seems super strong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lotus Knight is insane. Views is a really good player. Uh, Mojo's a great player. Mm-hmm. I don't know a whole lot about Clarity, but... Very under pr player. He's a 50 PR player who is very good. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we barely we barely fit within the cap. You, you so. gotta watch out for them 50 PR guys that are not actually 50 PR. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only true 50 PR. We will, yeah. PR we, will, we, will, we will talk about the rope someone dope. who was 50 PR. <laughs> you must be this high to enter club. Yeah. <laughs> I, I believe that that's some of that is being fixed this season because didn't they make it so now it's based between your standard or wild finishes? So mm-hmm. yeah, you can't have like a rank one legend wild player come in at fifty PR in standard. Yes, yeah, that's true. I, that's I love that change. Um, mm-hmm. So yep. <laughs> clarity noting the chat. Okay, minus eighty PR. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, clarity, you gotta you gotta check out mine. My negative uh, stance, there, dude. You'll see. You'll see what true negativity is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Fish, you're up for the next one, dude. Awesome, man. I got three legendary teams in uh in uh my my runs. We got Pod People coming back. You know them. You love them. We got Ridiculous Hat as the captain in the one. Zrocio in the two. Starlax playing the three this season. Uh, oh, Starlax and Wicked Good. Are both usually the three four Starlight in the three Wicked Good in the four and Sway Bay returning in the five. Yeah, I think this is the the same team as they had last year. Exactly yes. the same team. Yeah. It's just the starting yeah. seeds was confused me because Wicked Good started in the three last season. Yeah, I mean they didn't do too great last year. Uh, I mean no. they they were hung in quite hanging quite a bit of PR even to start the season, and that mm-hmm. only decreased as the season went on. But this is clearly just a group of friends. Yeah, uh, really and, hey, this is this is great that THL can accommodate that. Soy exactly. Bay definitely improved nobly throughout the season, mm-hmm. having seen a few of her games on stream and got her first win in the last week. So uh, yeah. if she starts picking up steam, maybe earned, the... earned that player of the week. Yep. Yeah. That well, she primarily focuses on BGs as it is anyway. So it's it's uh, <laughs> yeah. I think uh, last season was her first first time playing Hearthstone in a while. So. <laughs> so it's good, yeah. good on to come to jump into Take like the, a league set. Uh, sorry, a THL setting. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, RDU can be a GM while being a BG's player. Why can't Sway Bay be That's a right. five season THL? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, Ron's Ron's giving me league format series. Correct. See, I've read that. So <laughs> stop, oh, no. you, stop yelling at me. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Blink twice if you're being held. Oh wait, cameras are on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Chester told me I'm fired. So okay, show's over, guys. Won't have oh, to do the uh, wheel of doom anymore. Right, just, give, just give me a few seconds. I'll I'll be yeah. right on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, Justin, ready to go for the next team? Yes, sir. So it is coming back. Our, our co-host, uh, Fish and I, on Tara Talk last season, Chiara Juggerlaw's team, Illidan's Death Knights, is back in business. Had a disappointing season, would, would be one way of saying it last season, but they are restocked with some new players. All overhaul, besides uh, JR in the five. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, starting off in the five, I'll say, Mighty Biz, then um, Mad at Arms, then JR himself in the three, Rice Bowl in the two, and T Stew up in the one. Uh, fun, a short, quick anecdote about that. Uh, I faced T Stew in, I think, either the first or second week of the season last season in Legacy in the two as well. Uh, and my memory of it was that there were some really long games, but I, I thought I outplayed him in the end, was happy to get the victory, and then 
Uh, I think near the end of the season, the first week of the playoffs, we were, we were drawing them again. So I look back at those old replays, like, hey, can I glean anything from them? No, no I, or not only could I not glean anything, holy crap, I was completely wrong. He outplayed me so hard. I got <laughs> incredibly lucky. I, I had a, a newfound respect looking back at, at them of, of some of the lines he took. So uh, I, I, I'm, I haven't heard many people talk about him in THL, but I would definitely back him to have a successful season, the one here. Yeah. Uh, he definitely seems like he can play the game well. And Rice Bowl, one of those wild players coming in at a pretty high PR based on uh, combined finishes. He's he's a really good player. I've I've played him on on Wild Ladder. Um, very strong player. Um, really, I think he also plays BGs and he's also a pretty good BGs player. So excited to see him play in standard. Um, so yeah, and the JR is a really JR is a strong three seed, and Matt at Arms is a strong four seed. So we'll I hope I'm I'm seeing good things for IDK. <laughs> oh, sorry. There we go. Mm-hmm. Kelly, you get anything to add, dude? Oh. Besides sneezing into your mic? No, that was a cough. Oh, cough. Okay, sorry, buddy. Ooh. Yep. Uh, nope. I think uh, I think this team has potential. They're. I mean, this is like almost all new new people, right? So mm. they're definitely gonna have to. I new mm. new to the team. Not right. Yeah, the team to, is new. Yeah. Yeah. The team is definitely going to need to uh, to prove itself a little bit, I think, but. Uh, they definitely have potential. So there we go. All right. So so we had Illidan. So we got the next one's for you there, Kel. All right. So uh, next up, we have a Noyo team. Uh, we have Robo Cats in the one seed. Catharsis, uh. the captain, in the two <laughs> seed. So just uh, sorry, to, I had to correct it. For some reason, Don, they put Robo Cats in the one seed. I, I think they're. No, in the five. five, yeah, yeah, typically. But so. RoboCats is no, indeed uh, the one. Yeah, RoboCats is getting his his PR adjusted. Oh, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he felt it. I mean, very, very real honorable thing for him to do. He felt it was just too unfair when he just hadn't played the game for a while and came in at fifty PR and then started playing and went up to like top two hundred legend <laughs> and just smashing <laughs> people in the five. Uh, so he, Look, he, yeah. Uh, okay, so it's up for debate. It, yeah, I think he's entering at 450 PR or somewhere around there. Uh, Interesting. I think he's in chat. Incorrect, okay. mm-hmm. but yeah. So, I was saying all last season, if you ever listened to me you'd be blabber on Tavern Talk, that I mean, the RoboCats and the, the five is the most busted thing ever. I, I thought you'd think he's in the one, and now we'll get a chance to see I exactly mean, that, RoboCats I in mean, the one. <laughs> I got to play him in the five twice last season, and he our first match was competitive, but it, I mean, that was like week two, but by yeah. the end of the, the time, he... He absolutely dominated me three zero in in, in a yeah. hero and um and he dominated my RT he I, I I did get to dodge him in legacy the week of my, our teams played because mm-hmm. I had already moved I had moved up to the four but okay. he also uh, swept I mean he swept every single opponent he played so. in the five seed so all right, all right, and, sorry, and sorry to interrupt Kel MVP winning legacy MVP in the process so we'll see how he does he, in the five Kel's gonna jump one. in to to read the rest of the team we did we cut him off sure. sorry sorry <laughs> go ahead Kel so good uh so then we have Duin in the three uh nice Jewish owl in the four and mighty biz rounding out the five Zithud. oh I'm sorry, I yeah. read the wrong line. It is, it's two. You're good. Five. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, five, yeah. four, good. whichever. So, so RoboCats has got an asterisk. I put them in the five just because it, that's where I last saw them last season. So, <laughs> unless oh. I was seeing something wrong. But anyway, mm-hmm. my bad. Yeah, uh, I mean, reigning <laughs> legacy MVP, reigning legacy uh, rookie of the season. Normally, when you have accolades like that, it means you're moving up the seeds, but uh, yep. not yeah. often as quick as this time, <laughs> or basically yeah. never. <laughs> yeah. So. You no, know, the team looks solid. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll go to another old school team, the Stubs. So mm-hmm. we got downtown and the one seed, Blue Jay and the two seed uh, coming back um, after a. Probably a couple series rest, maybe. Uh, Gamble at the three, Osmonaut captaining at the four, and then uh, Kuru Finway at the five. So pretty strong, solid team. Yeah. Um, Osmonauts. Team, yeah, go ahead. No, they've won two. They've won two titles. So very good team. 
overall. Yeah. All right. Next one is for fish. <laughs> of course, I get this team. I love it. Very, very fitting. I get to talk about Team Fish with a period at the end. I, I, I'm not sure why there's a period at the end, but it's a good team name. Um, <laughs> and the picture's great, too. Yep. Um, we got Zancat returning in the one. Um, he took a season off um, or two. A uh, Hicket in the... Hickett in the two seed, uh, treat, um, yeah, Trito in the three seed, Dead Snoop in the four seed, or Dead Snoop one, two, three in the four seed, and two fly in the five seed. Now, tr- and, and, uh, Trito and two fly both like they could okay, they combined for one loss last season on team, tr- on, uh, team trees. Um, and Hickett's returning to them. Uh, I'm excited about this team. They really, they did well last season. Uh, they, they lost to F2L Red in the playoffs. Um, a couple new members, but I have high hopes. Yeah, Two Fly and Trito had a had a great season, pretty strong. And Zancat's always uh-huh. always great. I think it's uh, Risen's good pal. Nice. So, yeah, I got to I got to play Zancat on the ladder once, and we had a good match. Mm-hmm. What is the distribution of PRs on this team? If, if Two Fly's the lowest, and I think he's like three hundred. <laughs> um. I think two fly Trito and Dead Snoop Dead Snoop are gonna be very close in PR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like a dad legend esque build. Yep. Yeah. No, so. I think there's some some big benefits as people mm-hmm. have theorized before about building your team with way with a, a pretty flat construction because uh there's <laughs> it's speculated that there's there's more variance at the higher levels of the game if, if you're you're 200 PR less than the one seed that's you'd prefer being 200 PR over in the five seed or whatnot. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that sort of trade off. Uh, mm-hmm. So see if they can make it work for them. Yep. Uh, so, and now we comes to our final team there, the 18th team for Legacy Series. So, Justin, take her away. Yeah, so this is the Defias Brotherhood. Uh, Hockey Boy is proving why he should not be a three seed in Hero last season. Nope, and he's a one too. seed in Legacy now. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're coming back in after a bit of a break. Uh, and he, alongside Wild Nine, who had a very good regular season last season, and Jester in the three, whose growth in the game has, has made started to make that seem quite unfair. Neb Canuck in the four, and then Eeks in the five. Uh, Captain by Comp. Oh. Uh, yeah. So if you guys don't know Eeks, I'm not sure I he's do. quite going to be Darren level, but he may, he may just be the next best thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's a, another Northeastern student, uh, and his little TESPA team just won before this. They're now 5-1. and one. Uh, Came back to the game after taking a big break. So he's 50 PR, but he's, he's subbed in for Foolish Madden last season to, to maintain that, <laughs> get that 50 PR before he he moved up the the legend points. Uh, and I think he's hit like top 1,000 legend now, uh, at least top 2,000. Uh, and mm-hmm. has maintained that there for a few seasons. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think he's going to lose many games. <laughs> like, he, he is ridiculous <laughs> in the five. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. And when when you add Chester in the three being pretty overpowered, I I never want to face hockey in close. So I, I don't care. He's not the best player. Like there's 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 so many good players in THL. There's there's better ones on paper. I just never want to face hockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I do not want to lose to Big Chaman. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I would rather lose a hard fought game to Neji than lose to freaking Big Chaman. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, yeah. I think this team could have something going for it. Mm-hmm. And comp as always is the cap. Uh, um, was anchoring Defias Brotherhood. That's right. So the Edwin Van Cleef of the Brotherhood. All right. So that pretty much closes out our last team. So awesome. that brings us to the two conferences and our lovely wheel. The wheel. Okay, now so just, in theory... Be a, now there's just going to be a Y on the screen. Yeah, just another Y. <laughs> why? 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 Why ask why? Okay, okay. Darren is telling me it, it, it's time. Wheel hype. Here we go, here we go. 
Okay, so I, 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 I'm pretty How sure. Long will it take you <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Holy crap! So first team in red conference is going to be. Everybody's favorite. Wheel, 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 wheel. Flame pimps! Oh my gosh! The pimps, oh, I... the pimps are in red. Of course they are. Go figure. <laughs> okay. Now we need some gold. Oh, look at that. Round so. and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Ooh, HSA and gold. All right, HSA gold and gold. Start. That's uh, pretty iconic. You can buy their Duo. logo in the shop, which does not have much gold in it, I think. Uh, has a lot <laughs> but of gold. they will be in gold conference this season. Gold is free. So. That's true. Mm. <clears throat> now we're coming to red. A. Hey. Jester, pod I really, really people. Pod people in red. Gold team, or gold conference, sorry. Okay, coming back to gold. Who will be joining HSA in the second slot in gold? It is the wheel stopping on Meme Dream Team. Meme Dream Team. So, separated from their, their fellow top seed of opposite team <laughs> in opposite conferences this season. Mm -hmm. uh, Ron has asked us to keep you away from the uh, the wheel there, Justin. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In the red conference, we have IDK. IDK. I don't know. Or, Dilly Dilly's, sorry, Dilly Dilly's, Dilly Dilly's Death Knights. Yeah, Illy Dilly's Death Knights. <laughs> yeah. are, are you playing all on red or all on black? I'm throwing all on gold for this next minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speak of the devil. Do you even tonk, bro? <laughs> Do you even right, tonk is in gold. This gold conference is looking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> gold it just got even more free, as C Mac is noting in the chat. Yeah, yeah. gold is free. Back to the uh, red. Sure, sure. Free is what we're gonna call it. A team fish. fish. Right, there's a there's a strong team. Are, are in they red. still in chat? Do you like the emphasis I put on that? Fish. <laughs> All right, I help compensate it for everybody that was trying to figure out what fish had at the end. So I just put a dot, period, <laughs> and a dot. So we're good. Nice. Yeah, I mean, all all bases covered. <laughs> what, what do you think of this uh, team name, Mister uh, Doctor? It's a good team name. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Anyways, back right, to the okay. real action. The wheel. <laughs> Coming to Defias Brotherhood. Jesus, Defias in gold. <laughs> Typing skills are not very good. Okay. Next one. All right. Yay, there we go. <clears throat> Kelly, yell it out, dude. Standard THL Degenerates. Incorrect. <laughs> STD. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, all, right. all right, my bad. Uh, why are they degenerates, though? Uh, I don't know. Cordon's on there. That... <laughs> FBOMD. But, but they seem like, you know, upstanding members. I know. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you guys. Like, Ooh. <laughs> Orcs that smorks in gold. Gold is free. Oh, my God. Gold is so stacked. Oh, man. I, I would not want to be in gold conference right now. Another spin at the I'm wheels. Hearing, guys, breaking news. Fort Knox, the Federal Reserve, is, is announcing that all, all their, <laughs> their gold <laughs> reserves that they have back is actually being given away to the public for free. As we see, F2L, F2L, white. F2L white and gold or in red. Dodged F2L. Let's go. Let's go. Dodging F2L. 
Yes, head on down to your local uh, THL <laughs> affiliate, and you can pick up a gold bar of your own for yeah. little to no cost. I don't know, man. If you say gold's free, I think you're crazy, but... <laughs> the new, no, newest team joining it's... the gold party is Hot Zilfs. Yeah. I mean... They're not quite oh. a gold digger. But they are Hot Zilfs. Yeah. Okay, so Red Squad mm -hmm. gets that one. Yeah. Right? Sure you don't Bank, have that upside down there? Bank Yugi fan club. <laughs> Uh, that name that I can't pronounce. You yep. could probably just put like BFC and it would work. No, it's fine. I get it. So good. Oh, you did? Nice. Big Very nice. Cards. <laughs> Very nice kill. Hey. Oh, man. Chaos Theory and Gold Conference. <laughs> yeah, this is. I'm looking up the official pronunciation, and I'll do my best to butcher it, but I'm seeing Fian Clab Bunkyugi. It's, mm. it's my yeah. my anglicized uh, butchering yeah. of that. Yeah. DMB. Moving Dirty Mike and the boys, the boys making their way into red. <laughs> oh yeah, we get, we get Ron versus Based again this season now. Yeah. Runs, runs poison, so. Oh, here we go. And it is. Anoyo, Anoyo team. team is gold. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Darren, ready to fight in the one this season? All right. Got the big hard spin here. Red team is going to have, or red squad is going to have. Man, there's so many good teams in these conferences. Oh, there's a lot of good teams in general. Yellow Dart's All right, gonna be dad angry. legended red. Yep, yellow dart's going to be angry. He was angry last season because he was in silver. Now he's in red, so. <laughs> so what do you well, mean at you least he doesn't base, have to play you, all his, yeah. his opponents this season. Base, nope. what do you mean you resigned? We're just rigging the conferences like you told us to. Okay, I see. And the last one where will it land? It is on. <laughs> we're pulling it up. We're, we're, we're unrolling it from the from the envelope. Uh, we're, we're putting it under the blue light. We're, we're examining it. I see the first letter. It is a D. N next letter is an A. It is the yeah. stubs. Nice. <coughs> wow, that made me cough. <laughs> oh God! Wow. All right. So uh, now that we have our conferences here, everybody screenshot that. Yep. Posted uh, posted fifteen yeah. times in, in chat. Holy cow, these one seeds in gold. Get... These gold conference one seeds are stacked. Before we, we get on out of here, I have one question for everybody, which is I would love to know what your top two teams in legacy and your top two teams in hero. What? Oh, I thought what we were doing top fives. Oh, are we doing top fives? We can do top fives. It's gonna be hard though. I thought that was what we were doing. No, there's no wheel in here, Justin. There's, yeah. Yeah, uh, there's, there's no... one conference. Right, yeah. there's only one conference. Okay, here, yeah, so... I mean, I, I was actually just asking this for all the people in chat who might have the, the silly question of, hey, where's the wheel <laughs> for Hero? But as, as you has been rightly pointed out to all the, the silly people in chat, there's actually only one conference in Hero. Yeah, so we're calling, uh, that, we're calling that Teal. So Teal. Can conference. we still have a wheel, though? I'd really love to spin it nine times. <laughs> Twelve times? Twelve times, <laughs> yes. Oh, 11, yeah, 12 times, yes. <laughs> we can do save that for the after show. Uh, <laughs> record the clip, upload it to the THL YouTube. That's right. We could do that. We do that. All right. So anybody that hasn't screenshot it and sent it uh, four or five times in the THL um, Legacy Discord. We great. have several mods in this channel. Like, mods, can you officially ban anyone that does not send this screenshot with the next, uh, say, 15-minute grace period yeah. uh, in the channel? All right. So that brings us to the funkiness that we have called... Uh, five strong teams. So we're going to go with Dr. Fish first, then we'll go with Justin just to give All a right. quick over overview, well, and then we'll which, end the stream. Are we, are we, are are we, we starting st in Hero or Legacy? Hero first. Okay, Hero. Hero strong teams. Okay. Oh, okay, let's look at the Hero teams. Wait, are, are my doing, my are top, top five, five for Hero, or do we want to do like less than that because there's only like 12 teams? 
All right. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey, By top team, we just mean anyone who could make the playoffs, really. <laughs> so the playoffs, right. yeah, the playoffs would be the top six teams. They're all right? top teams in my heart. That's right. <laughs> okay, so um, top six do, teams. Then. Sure. Well, I'm not gonna like say who I think they play. I'll just give like five. I think Ask HS um, is on my is on my watch that's, radar. That's hero. Uh, hero. Yeah, Ask HS. Yeah, we're They're not hero. on my hero radar. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I misheard you. <laughs> um, yeah, Ask and Jeff, I... Tam- Tampams, um, F2L Black, um, Vote of Some Confidence, and um, 1337 Squad. Yeah, sorry there, Kel. I, I, I have to, I have to favor the thought my, was I HSA. Have <laughs> I have to favor my own team. But yeah, that's, that's a good list there. I love my team. It's a good team. All right. I was AGT. What you get? So I have no pros here. I actually came in a little too late to talk about them, but I presume you did them justice because that t- roster mm-hmm. looks absolutely stacked. Uh, I'm gonna go 1337 squad, uh, <laughs> defending champions, uh, and vote of some confidence would would be my top three. Do, do we want? Do you want need me to name some more? <laughs> yeah, you can name Nine. two. So, sorry, it's all good. Cal. Uh. So obviously, ask HS. Uh, I have to say that, right? I'm con- I'm contractually obligated. <laughs> uh, then I think uh, a vote of some confidence looks really strong. Uh, I also agree with the thirteen thirty seven squad. And the other team that I'm looking at, I think, is uh, blast. Yeah, it's gonna be a good team. Good old blast. All right, so my my three is gonna be. Ugh, it's tough. Um, Photo some confidence. We get pretty strong crew there. Um, I want to say wherever we have me roam, but I think there's gonna be too much infighting of, of who's got the best meme mm-hmm. in that in that channel mm-hmm. um, between that's, the t- the three. Um, you do always have to can, uh, factor in the meme economy. That's so. that's right. Yeah, and mm-hmm. there's just too much, too much uh, banter going back and forth, so they get all distracted. So, um, so second team's gonna be Dabs, and then I'm gonna say, just because Nedzi's on the team is Ask Ask HS and Kel, the number one, the hundred percent All Star selected gentleman True. from last year. So we have the pleasure of speaking with uh, as a our co-host here tonight. <clears throat> That's right. The only. Mm-hmm. So I let's. You, it feels real good to win by default. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll flip on over to uh, Legacy. So we'll start with um, Fish again. Um. All right. So I have to relook at the teams just to make sure that I'm not screwing it up. We um top five five teams um. I think um, um, my team. I think my team's one of the five strongest teams. Orcs, the Smorks. Um, I think fish. I think fish is going to be a strong team as well. Um, took the words right from out of my mouth. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> so Dr. Five. Fish has ch- chosen two teams that involving aquatic specimens for, for his first two. <laughs> True. Uh, Defias. I like Defias. <clears throat> um, I think HSA is going to be... A, I think HSA is going to be strong as well, uh, anchored with a really good one and two seed. Um, I. So, I mean, I guess they they would be one of my, like, honor... They'd be, like like, top five very close to top five anyways and um uh and i and i like a noyo team as well a noyo team's pretty good top to bottom okay yeah agt i just don't yeah. well uh i am only gonna give you three because i think everyone else sucks uh, i was talking all of your teams up earlier but you know what St- send back looking at the full rosters i just think they can't compete to these three and they are in order number one defias number two chaos theory and number three Wait for it. Fish. Oh. Yeah, fish. Imagine just being flat out wrong. 
Yeah, I mean, I can't wait for it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> these are the, these. I think these are the teams that are I'm not as historical. Like, like we all know that F two L is gonna gonna put out like a good product at the end. Of it. Exactly, Same yeah. with 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 the HSA. Like, they they never just gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna crap the bed. I'm, I'm, the, these are the teams that I feel like. Oh wow, they have something unfair going on there. Uh, <laughs> could could really spike a title or two. Well, unfortunately, there's only one up for grabs, so we'll have to see. Yep. All right, Imagine kill. Picking your top teams and not including the only team in THL that has created a fucking dynasty by winning four championships. I picked HSA. I thought, but... <laughs> no, no, he's specifically adding me. You're good. Fit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is correct. Uh, so HSA has to be in there. Like that team looks nuts. Uh, I also think Tonk looks very strong. Um, orcs that very smork. fair. Tonk is strong. Orcs with uh, the Smorks has to be up there too. They're they look very very strong. Uh, and then f- the last two, I'm gonna say Pod People and uh, the name that I can't read. Just call it Pasca. Captain Pasca. Yes, that's the one. Yes. No, no legible names here. (laughs) Can we coin that? There we go. By the way, Sage, if you're uh, if you're watching, I am gonna need my uh, my payment for that speech. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. So, and my quick five is gonna be no necessary order. It's gonna be Tonk Fish. Uh, I get meme team. Really coming in. That should be a surprise team. Uh, HSA, of course. Uh, I, I, STDs have a good chance for sure. And yeah, that's, that's the team. That's my watch for. It. That's my team. I'm gonna keep my eyes eyes on. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Hot Zilfs are will be in it too. They they've been pretty steady the last few years. So mm, true, true. This is true. So there's my my five Sanko. Yeah. So wow, I thought I thought they they might be flying under the radar a little bit, but no. It seems like all four of us are really uh, hyped up on fish. Could it be possibly that they are bait? Yes, we'll have to see. They, they might be bait, but I think the way that they performed last season, if they can continue their trajectory, <clears> then treat it. Then treat on two flyer like two fly in the five is nuts. Like he's like I would put him as one of the top three five seats. I mean, they call it bait for a reason. It's not bait oh, yeah. if it doesn't look appealing. <laughs> and this team certainly looks appealing. Oh, wait. Am I the only person that didn't mention fish? I think I am. Mm. Yes. Maybe I'm Maybe I'm sleeping on fish then. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe you'll sleep with the fishies. Right. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. I, see, the thing, my issue oh, with, my with gosh. fish, though, is I only recognize two of the names, which are Zancat and Trito. Mm. Maybe after the end of this season, you'll be recognizing a lot more of those names. Yeah. Two two fly only lost one game all of last season playing in the four, and so for him to drop his seed down is really nuts. True, true. All right, so I like yep. Very so, excited for this so, season. Yep, and that's that season is going to start. Uh, where did it... Monday? Is it next Monday? I'm trying yeah, to find you. Uh, it is coming. coming up the twelfth of April. Very soon from now, as today is just the eighth. Four days away. The start mm-hmm. of the new THL season. Yep, Deck yep, submission yep. will be w- delayed by one day compared to normal uh, for everyone mm-hmm. new who is in stream, which I don't think is many people, or all people who are like Turtle and don't read anything. Uh, <laughs> you don't know what day the submission is. Normally, it is Wednesdays at midnight Pacific, but this week, because of the balance patch, it is being pushed back 24 hours. Uh, so get your decks right. in by Thursday at midnight. Yep. Also, here's to hoping that the balance patches hit like... 8 o'clock Monday morning. Oh, yeah, that would be oh, great. No, yeah, those, There's another not... test around Monday, and I am just not looking to it. Hick it in the <laughs> chat. We're facing you tomorrow. I mean, can, is there any way we can get the admins to, to be willing to delay it to last of the patch? Because, oh, <laughs> I am done with this meta. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm i pretty sick of Paladin and Lunacy on 2. Yeah. I, I haven't touched I haven't touched Standard in, a few, in like, quite a while. For now, yeah, uh, I've managed to climb from bronze ten to platinum three with aggro priest. It's hilarious. Nice. Kelly All right, ever. 
if you have a priest player. Yeah, that Deep. pretty pretty much wraps it up for tonight. So tomorrow night is going to be uh, three other gentle folk. Um, it's going to be myself, uh, Lotus Knight, uh, Jailstorm, and uh, Marty B, who will be announcing the Wild Series group, which has 12 teams, and Pro Series group, which has 18 teams. So we'll be doing a spin for that one. So nice. come back, same time. It'll be a different crew, but same stuff. So looking forward to it. Enjoy your night, everybody. Thanks for the uh, the supporting cast that I have with Kel and Dr. Fish and always just in time. I always appreciate you guys uh, chipping in and wish everybody a good night. <laughs>